Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Sierra Nevada Hop Solo IPA. Yeah, so this is a single hop beer. So from beginning to end, it's they only use crystal hops in this beer. Malt is just two row and pale and crystal hops. That's it, huh? And it's an IPA, 5.5%. Never seen this one before. When we were mm -hmm. in North Carolina at their huge facility, which we'll, we'll roll some pictures in here now of that place. Um, we saw these beers in the cooler for sale and we thought, you know what, we have to grab a few of these things because we, you know, we don't get these distributed down here. So yeah, this is definitely one that caught our eye. The, it's just so plain. It just looks, it's just, just a big giant hop on it. Gone are the giant Bob Ross paintings. Yeah. <laughs> this is cooler. So definitely using our awesome Sierra Nevada bottle opener that we got there. Thank you guys for that. That was really cool. Also, thank you guys for the complimentary water bottles that you gave us for our honeymoon private outdoor woodsy tour. That was fantastic. We're still using those to this day, so that was much appreciated, especially that day, because it was like 100 freaking degrees outside, yeah. and we were hiking through the wilderness, checking out farms and bees and water and stuff. Really, really like Sierra Nevada's kind of corporate culture and how they, uh, you know, treat the environment and their whole, like, the whole sustainability thing is really cool. I like yeah, that. it was a really cool brewery. I really liked everything about it. Yeah, pretty much everything about it. Except for when they followed us at the end. That was weird. That's true. That, was, that was a little that. weird. Like Security guards were a little wonky. A little strange. But all said, pretty, pretty positive experience there. Not getting a huge uh, smell. Do you get anything? Yeah, I mean, I can smell the hops, but I have to say I've never had a, a beer with crystal hops only. I don't think I've ever had a single hop crystal beer. So, I don't even know if I've had beers with crystal hops in them. I feel like that's... I'm sure we have at some point, but we just don't know it. Well, they're not like the advertised... They're not the popular hop. Yeah. They're not invited to the popular hop parties. Yeah, they don't. They don't normally don't hang out with the popular. I haven't kids. seen them advertise on the IPAs that I do drink. Yeah. Or that I've had in the past. Yeah, I feel like it's not a hop that uh, people are like, yeah, we got crystal, wow. Yeah. And maybe crystal is just like over there hanging out, like, hey guys, maybe you should consider using me. I know I'm not cool like that, <laughs> and I read a lot of books, but I'm still cool. I can do stuff too. All right, well, let's dive in since yeah. I can't really differentiate anything. Cheers. Whoa. Okay, I've definitely had this hop before. <laughs> <laughs> now I remember. Now I remember what this tastes like. I, I can almost see why I call it crystal because it has this kind of like zing to it. Yeah, it has this kind of like spiciness in the back the of your throat. Spiciness, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Very becoming of a brewery like Sierra Nevada. Actually, it kind of reminds me of uh, woodsy perfume. Some of the the woodsy notes. Okay. With a little bit of musk in there. It's like. Yeah, musky is a good word to describe it. I think. Yeah. It's like it's like thick and dense. Like a dense forest. Like a Bob Ross painting of a dense forest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Ross is going to become our new. This is now a relationship between Bob <laughs> Ross and Sierra Nevada right now. We're talking about that in the other review because like every damn Sierra Nevada can or whatever, all the artwork looks like a Bob Ross painting. So yeah, on a scale of uh, one to 10 crystal hops, what would you give this hop solo? Eight. Yeah, I, okay. I'm like at a seven and a half. I feel like I want more hop character out of it almost. Like, I know this is a little bit old, it's from like, it says bottled on 6 19 And it's been in our fridge since our honeymoon. So it's kind of, when was that? July? Yeah. So it was like a month old when we bought it, but now it's kind of like September. It's in that uh, so, sorry. 90 day. It, it is, 
But I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I want more like punch to this one. But I made a good seven and a half to eight. I mean, it's one. It's it's only they're only using one hop. I like it for what it is. That's crazy how they can get that flavor out of just one hop. I think I like this one probably because it's reminiscent of the traditional West Coast style IPA that Stone produces. Yeah, uh, Crystal Hops forever will be also emblazed in our minds as the uncool hop at the party. <laughs> He's just in there for like, because we needed to make the party look bigger. Yeah. But once you get to know the guy, then you're like, oh, he's, he's probably pretty a really cool. nice guy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. probably a great guy. We had a lot of weird ass analogies in this review. All right, guys, if you're interested in more craft beer reviews or beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon to stay notified. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.